A typical day begins in Swallow Crescent. Edmund Herbert Smythe is preparing for work. Bye, darling. Oh, bye, darling. Bye, kids. The journey to Edmund's workplace usually only takes 30 minutes, but today an accident is holding up the traffic. Oh, come on, come on! Oh, I can't believe the traffic down here today. This bit's usually clear. I usually get a straight run in. The problem is, if I'm late, Barking Mad Johnson gets really narky. Edmund arrives just in time as Barking Mad Johnson finishes his shift. Hello oh, there, Barking Mad. How's tricks? Well, I sick face now. Yeah. Oh, all right, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, you be yeah. careful on your way home. Uh, there's been an accident on St John's Street. Uh, traffic's terrible. All oh, right, all right. A different way. Yeah, that, thanks for the tip. I'll do that. Yeah. What's, what's the crowd been like today? Bloody rubbish, to be honest with you. I've been pouring my heart out. I don't know why I bother sometimes. Got nothing back. Nothing. Edmund Herbert Smythe is a professional tramp. Two years ago, in an attempt to stamp out vandalism, violence and drug abuse in stations, British Rail began employing tramps to help clear unwelcome elements from their property. Uh, I know the Norbert Rostrum is the British Rail Executive in charge of stations. He explains the decision to employ professional tramps. I can honestly say it's been a huge success. I mean, these days hardly anyone hangs about in the toilets and other public areas. In fact, many decent station users choose to wait to use facilities outside the station, keeping our environment in a lovely, pristine condition. Oh yes, of course, we used to have real tramps, but they were terribly unreliable. Some of them just slept all day. Bunch of useless dosses, really. So we cleared them out and replaced them with proper professionals who really care about the work. I can honestly say the improved quality of customer service is largely down to the quality of modern tramping techniques. Oh, oh indeed, indeed. It is a well-rewarded profession. Hold on, look. It's, um, here's the trophy that um, we'll be giving to the winner of last year's Tramp of the Year Award, Bleeding Ass Ferrier. Yes. Marvellous, man. Absolutely. Edmund's earlier optimism remains unfounded and the day is very quiet. This is disappointing, but Edmund is an aspiring actor and feels that his work as a tramp may lead to a high-profile acting career. Oh, that this too, too solid flesh would melt. Oh, that this too, too solid flesh would melt. Oh, that this too, too solid flesh would melt.